Nun Vavam Abbas, nine lines from the top. Continuing on with our discussion of Mephibosheth, the Gemara previously said the Mandoma de Mephibosheth was considered to be a Myrid, a Myrid in Rabbein Shlam. So the more continues, and this is what we find in the Bal. It says the son of Yoinosan was Marib Baal. That was his name, Marib Baal. In fact, the Moravachim Marib Baal Shemoy was his name, Marib Baal, was Mephibosheth. Why is it called Marib Baal? El Mitoyach Sha'asa Mariva in Baalov. He made a rib, he made a machalikis with his master, with Hashem. So Yosabas called Ramla, Natsa Barnatsa, says Baal Machalikis. The son of a Balmachlekes, a descendant of the Balmachlekes. Now it's hard, Amran. This Machlekes is what we just said that he, Mephibosheth, said that when Dovid Melech said that, that you and Siva should divide the field, he said that we darshan that he has complaints not against you, against the one who restored you, Bisholom, the Rabbi Shalom. So Mephibosheth is what we just said. Bar Natsa, the son of a one who makes a machlekes, tersiv vayove shol ad ir amolek vayorev banachal. That Shaol Amel came and he made, he fought, literally he fought in the nachal, in the the riverbed. That's a reference to the milchama that when Shaol was commanded to wipe out a molek and to destroy a molek, and he did not listen completely, he did not destroy them completely, and it says Vayara Banachal in the Nachal. So Raisha explains that he he reasoned as follows. He said, for one person with a terror has, when there's a found a dead body, we make, there's a din of Egla, a Rufam, there's a din of Alea, that he's now, he's decapitated in the Nachal, so over here to ki- kill and wipe out all of these people and, and ch- children who are innocent, women and children. So he had Rachmanus, he didn't want to do it. So he made a machlaik, he didn't listen to the Tzibu Hashem. So a Mephibosheth was a descendant, he was a grandson of Shaul Melech, who's a Notza Bar Notza. And the way the Mashah explains it is, is that we darshan in this way because Amalek did not live in the Nachal. Why does it say Vayar Benachal? They lived in, in the high places, not in the Nachal. So it means Al Iske Nacham. Amar Rabbi Mani Al Isa. He says Al Iske Nacham. Amar Yud Amar Rab. Ishash Amar David Lemifi Boishes Atav Etziva Techalgo Es Hasadim. So now, till now, we discussed and we said that David Melech did not accept Loshan Hara. That there was he saw Simon Lemifi Boishes that what Siva was saying was true. But now Rav says not like that. Like we learned before that he was Makhava Lashon Har. So here we see what time when he says, he says, B'Sha'a Shalman Dabad Amar Tabah Sinu Dachal Kos Asara when Dabad Amal said to me, watch that you and Sir will divide the field. He also bas called Va'amaloi and said, as a punishment for you, you saying that you should divide the field, Rechava V'yarava Michal Kos Hamalucha. The, your kingdom, your grandson, well, Rechava, the Malucha will be divided and Rehovim and Yerovim, Yerovim ben Avad, they'll divide the Malucha, and that was the beginning of the division, of the split in the Am Yisrael, Yehuda and Yisrael, that was the beginning of the split. Omer v'yurim ha-ravah mali l'kibol David l'ashen hara, if not for the fact that he accepted l'ashen hara, lay nechru malchus beis David, there would not have been this division in the malchus beis David, v'lo avde Yisrael avay de Zorro, and it would not have led to avay de Zorro, v'loi galinu ma'at seinu, there was this division, there was this split. And as a result of this split, as before she explained, as a result of this split, so therefore Yeravim now prevented the people from going up to Yushalayim to be oil of And therefore, as a result, he put the Egle, he put the Egle Zav, and so that they should not go up to Yushalayim, they should worship the, these Egle Zav. And that led to a void Zorah. And Avoid al led <coughs> to the Khurban and the Golas. If not for this division that of the of uh, David Kabbalah and Hara, there wouldn't have been the division of the Malchus, which would not have led to the ultimate Avoid Zorah and the Golas. 
אמרי שמול בן נחמני אמר רבי אינוסן, כל האמר שלמה חלטה אין אלו תאיה. anyone who says that שלמה מלך was a good of a zorro was tight, he made a mistake, it's wrong. שנאמר לא יכול לבוא ושלם עם השם אלוקיו כלבב דוד עבד. It says that his heart was not complete, was not wholehearted, was not perfect, like David his father. So we dash in Kilvav David Avi Vudaloyav. It wasn't complete like David and Malak. But Mechta Nami Loichata, but he didn't do the ver. Just wasn't on the Madrig of David and Malak. Ay, Elamani Mekayim Vahilez, Zikna Shleiman Nashav Hitu Aslav Mova, it says in his older age that his wives, they led his heart astray and he went after a way to Zoram. Where it says, Ay, Kirub Nasan. Now we learn it like Rabbi Nasan, the Tani Rabbi Nasan, the Rabbi Nasan Rami. He asks the seer, it's a contradiction. See, it says in his older age that the wives, they led his heart astray. It says he wasn't perfect like David, his father. So how do we reconcile this? Was it that he was not on the Madrig of David Mel, but he didn't do a chet? Or it was his wives, did they let him astray? So how he come by he is zikna shleima nashav he to us lavava lachas achre elohim achir. They tried to entice him and lead him astray, but the loy halach. But really, ultimately, loy halach. He did not go. I v'haksiv az yivne shleima bama lechmoish shikut mayav. It says he built the mizbeach the altar for. Kamaish the the abomination of Mayav. So it's Mayish. He's was I give away to Zara. Where says no, not that he actually did it. Shabikesh live nice loy bonai. He intended to. He wanted, but ultimately he did not do it. I elamelta. It says as Yivne Yeshua mizbeach l'Hashem. So it says that he built a mizbeach l'Hashem. Are you going to say in the same way? And Darshan the same way. Shabikesh live nice loy bonai. That he wanted to, but he didn't. Are you going to say the same thing? That he didn't build a Mizbeach? El Adabana by Yeshua. He built a Mizbeach. Achanami Adabana. And also that he, he built a Mizbeach. Maga by Yeshua, it, he's one of the ones we learned previously that there were those who were only died by Ito, Yishel, by Yishel, Nachash. And the Rebbe brings down that Yeshua, the Zoyer brings down that the uh, Yerusha, and he brings down that uh, Yeshua was also one of those that didn't have an Avera, that he only was Nifter because of the Asata of the Nachash, but he himself didn't have a Chet his whole life. But I'll call upon him. By Yeshua, by Yeshua means that he literally built it. So here, what does it mean? Az Yivna Shleim means he wanted to build it? Ella Kedasanya will like burn this falling. Best bomb bomb as I share Alpane Yushalayim, I share Mimin, Lahara Meshcha, or Lahara Mashcha, as I share Bona, Shlema Melech, Yisrael, La Ashtairis, Shikut, Sidonia. It says that, it says in the following that Yoshiyoah Melech, he removed all of the Avodah Zora and he removed everything from the land, including. It says the Boma that Shlema Melch built for Ashra Yashiko Sidon. So, does it mean it literally that he removed that? Esher Bo Asav Loibiram Yashav Loibiram. Those that preceded him, it says by them also that they removed all of Oedazar. So, why wouldn't the Vasa have removed that already? And why wouldn't have Yashua Yashav previously have removed that? Asher Bo Yashav Loibiram. And only Yoshio later came and removed it. Well, I call away the Zor, she buried the throne. Also, Yoshio followed Biyam. They removed all of the Zor already previously. Elam, Ma, Kishri, Shem, La, Chreim, it makes a hekish, the earlier ones to the latter ones. Ma, Chreim, Loy, also, a tall Bem, Lishvach. Just like when it says that Yoshio removed it, it doesn't mean. That he literally removed it because it was already removed earlier in earlier generations. But it means to say is that everything that was there he removed. He removed all of the zara that was remaining. If that had been remaining, he would have removed it as well. So it's Tola, it, it attributes to him as if he did it because he certainly would have done it if it would have been there. 
So Machron Loy also told Mishlah, Afri Shainim Loy also. Similarly, the earlier ones, Shloim Melech, did not build a Mizbeach, Loy also. The Tal Bem Lignai, but it attributes it to him. It's as if he built it. Why is that? Because we'll see momentarily. Because he could have, he could have admonished his wives, and he didn't. I, so the Gemara continues. It says he did bad in the eyes of Hashem. Meaning not that he literally he built these bombs, but he could have protested. He could have objected and prevented it. It's considered as if he had done it. It would have better for this tzaddik, for Shleim Melech, better that he should be a servant, a shamash for a Vodazara, to chop the wood and bring the water, etc. Rather than the Pasuk should write about him that he did the Rabbi Neashem. When he married Bas Zemer, she brought in a thousand different types of musical instruments. And she said, This is how they play for this particular avoider. And this is how they play for this avoider. And he did not make him a ha, he did not protest against her. When he married Baspara, Yar Gavriel Vinots Kana Bayam. Gavriel the Mala came and he put a pole, he threw a pole into the sea, the Allah by Sirtan, and sand formed around it. The Allah Nimna Kragodal Shall Raimina ultimately became like a land mass, and the city of a large city of Rome was built on the this area of land. So the basis, the foundation for Roim, who was the ones who Nivna Krak Godel Shal Roimi, the the ones who were the the Sinim of of Israel, the foundation of their city was based on that Shlomo Melch was not Mecha, he was didn't protest against the Vaidazara of his of Baspari. And the day that Yeravam he put, brought in the two golden calves, he put one on either end. He wanted to, like we said, to prevent Bnei Yisrael from being oily regal, so that they should serve, that they should have other uh, means of, of being oivet, of serve worship. He brought these eglays of. When he did that, there was a hut was built on this landmass. And that was the beginning of Italia Shalyavan and the city from where came forth from that city, from that area, the Sinna and the destruction for free Israel. Whoever says that Yahshua Melech sin that he did in Avera, they did Avera, so he's making a mistake. He went in the mad path of David, his ancestor, he followed in his path. So he was a tzaddik, he was a tzaddik. It says about him that there was no king that was a, such a bal tshuva. There was no king that was shav that did tshuva like he did, which implies that initially he did averas, then he did tshuva. What it means is not that he initially originally was chayta. Means she called din shadon or called dinim shadon mi ben shmoyin of ashmoyin esrei. Then hechzira lahem. So it means that he became a king when he was eight years old, and he judged dinim. And then, as Rashi explains, they found the Megillah in the Beis Hashem, and he read from it, and he thought maybe he did, made mistakes in the dinim that he done, uh, judged earlier. They saw, they found the Sefer Torah, and now he now thought maybe he made a mistake, so he was matzir in all the cases that he judged, he returned the money to the people that he judged against him. So all of those cases, he returned the money. Shema Taima and not Maybe he'll say, well, he took from one person, the person that he was Mazake, he took it back from that person. No. He was chayshesh, then maybe the din was correct, but maybe the din was wrong. So what he did was he didn't take it from the person that he was Mazake initially. 
with all of what he had, with all of his wealth. It says that he did, and he did uh, uh, what he, he did properly, and he went in the path of Hashem, and with all his his ma'id, with all his money, meaning that he took from his own money and he gave to the people that he was machayv, that he judged against them previously, he took from his money and he paid them back. But this, Rav argues with this. There was no greater Baal Tshuva than Yeshio Melch and his dar. He was a Baal Tshuva, but he was the greatest, the greatest Baal Tshuva. And he said, no one was such a great Baal Tshuva like Yeshio B'day Roy, Ve'echa B'day Reinu, and one in our generation. Mono, who's the great Baal Tshuva in our generation? Abba Avud the Rav Yirmiya Bar Abba, Bamele Acha, Achua the Abba Avud the Rav Yirmiya. Some say it was Abba Avud, and some say it was Acha, Achua, Bar Abba Bikta Omar Mar, Abba Avud, Acha, Acha, Abba. They were brothers. So some says it was this brother, and some say it was the other brother. There's another one in our generation, he said, that is also this great Baal Tshuva. Umano, who is that great Baal Tshuva in our generation? Ukvan by Nehemiah, Reish Galusa. He is Ukvan, the son of Nehemiah, who the Reish Galusa. The Reish Galusa. Bahainu, Nosan, Dutsutsisa. And this is the one that's known as Nosan, Nosan de Tzutzisa. He's called Nosan de Tzutzisa. Omar, Rav Yosef, Abba Yesivna Bepirkin. Rav Yosef says, when I was sitting by the shear, by the learning, Rav Yosef Bepirkin, Vahavaka Menamen, he was dozing. Bechalza Bechilma, and I saw him during my dream, the Kaposh Yodav Kibla, that the Malach came and was Makabal the Tshuva of Nosan de Tzutzisa. Nosan of Tzutzisa. So Rashi explains he was called Nasa Tzutzisa because the sparks came from the mouth. The mouth that came and took his tshuva had the sparks of fire. That's how he was called Nasa Tzutzisa. He was in his generation also the great Baal Tshuva. So, as Hashem, we'll continue uh, with the Parag Bameisha in the next year.